Buenos dias! Hola. Good morning! We're enjoying our morning walk as we head over for our lattes. Our, lattes. our morning <laughs> lattes. It's a bit, it was raining last night. We got a good uh, downpour last night. And um, it's a little, it's a little cool, but not as cold as it's been the last few mornings. But we're heading over to one of our favorite coffee shops, Sepia. There's my lovely bride heading on into Sepia. And this is one of our favorite coffee shops when we build our home. We are wanting to do a coffee shop theme. And this is one of the reasons why we like this place is it's got the vintage Edison lighting throughout. And it's a warm, wonderful feeling. And it's something that we're wanting to incorporate into our home design. So follow me on in and let's see what it looks like. So you're here yeah. relaxing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, yeah. Good, good. Yeah, we're coming in here to have some coffee. Yeah, she came ahead of me, yes. And then we're going to see your, uh, hope we got some fresh pastries this morning. Good pastries. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a meal. All right. Gracias. That's one of the owner managers of the restaurant that we've become good friends with. Now I'm going to walk on back and see what pastries we have available today as Joanne gets her favorite sofa relaxation area. And I will order our, our tasty lunches this morning. This, they just added this beautiful Camellia Bakery here. They built this little building out. Looks like here in France as you enter in. Absolutely beautiful. Again, look at the unique lighting here. They've added a beautiful hand-blown type glass with a beautiful vintage interior. Absolutely love this little bakery. It's all fresh baked daily here. Merce Camellia. And there I am. Hola. Well, as you can see, we got our lattes this morning. And they do have a really nice barista here. Has a you can't really see it now, but there's a cute little part or a leaf. But in any case, yeah, let's try them. Those are really nice. Very, very tasty and flavorful, and nice and hot. <laughs> Perfect way to start the day. I love the lattes here in Mexico. Absolutely. Cheers! Yeah, we are live, baby. <laughs> Hi, and welcome back to our channel. Well, as you can see, we chose two lovely pastries. Uh, this one here is the uh, is called almendra. It's a croissant, obviously, and it's uh, almendra with a chocolate chip meaning almonds, obviously, a chocolate chip. And then this lovely uh, cookie uh, here is a chocolate chip and pecan. Uh, so they have a lovely a, um, French bakery, uh, as uh, I believe Ken uh, took you back there a little earlier, so you can check that out. It's just lovely with tasty, tasty 
uh, beautiful pastries. So we're going to go ahead and start uh, enjoying them and see how <laughs> yes. they taste. That's the most important part. Of Absolutely. <laughs> Stay tuned. It's tasting time now. So I'm going to start off with this thick chocolate chip as I just dropped the huge chunk on the floor. That is wasteful. We should use a three second rule. Yeah, I know. It's definitely going to be the three second rule. I'm not going to waste the chocolate chip. Just kidding, guys. <laughs> I'm not kidding. No, I'm not wasting it. <laughs> Oh, that's very good. It is cooked yeah. perfectly. Today. Yeah. Uh, Sometimes it's a little dry, but today it is perfect. Absolutely delicious. It's quite lovely, guys. It's moist. Excuse me. It's uh, chewy. But it's got lots and lots of chocolate chips. And it's very, very nice. Like I said, it combines almond paste along with chocolate. Perfect combination. I didn't realize how delicious that was. I've never had that before in so coming to Mexico. Right, right. It's a powdery mess, but it's a mess is good at times, you know? <laughs> look at this bad boy. No. No, it's good. I didn't even get any chocolate yet, so I can't wait till I get the chocolate. It's very, very flaky and fresh. Uh, crumbling all over, but that's all right. Well, uh, I will choose to. <laughs> wow. the chocolate yet? Yeah, for this. Right. It's so tasty and buttery. I'm getting the chocolate. We got a knife here and we're just going to cut right to it. There we go. Now I can finally get to a little bit more in the chocolate area. You can see it's just kind of mixed right in there. That is so good. The perfect way to start every morning, isn't it? Oh. Yeah. It really is. And it's so nice that uh, Sepia, uh, this particular restaurant, uh, you can order pastries from morning, noon, or night, uh, which is really nice. Uh, but you got to come early because they get busy. They get very, very busy. I mean, people will be standing, waiting outside in line to get in. And uh, we were wondering, what's all the fuss about, you know? But they have a huge option. Uh, their menu is um, an, an array of uh, different uh, breakfast items and lunch. I came for lunch one day and uh, I had... The lasagna, oh my god, it was incredibly good. As a matter of fact, I brought my Sicilian friends with me. They were visiting from Sicily about five weeks ago, and they were here for two full weeks. And I uh, brought them to Sepia. We would have our croissants in the morning, and uh, of course they would have their um, espresso. And uh, then we decided to come for uh, an early dinner one evening. And, uh, you know, them being Italian, being Sicilian, uh, they chose to uh, have spaghetti and uh, his wife, my friend Domenico, and his wife Pina. So Pina and I chose to go with the um, uh, lasagna, the meat lasagna bolognese. Oh my God, it was incredibly good. And uh, for my friends being Italian, Sicilian, uh, and for them to give us, you know, two thumbs up was pretty awesome. And uh, they said, this is great. This is the way it should be. This is true Italian uh, pasta. So that was pretty cool. I, I felt like very happy you know, that they really enjoyed their meal here at beautiful Sevilla. Yep, it's great here. I always have to ask why. Uh, why is Tapachico short supply? 
why we can't seem to find it in the grocery stores anymore. This is one of the few restaurants that actually has it in stock. It is best in the month. It's yes. the coldest, most delicious that way. Yeah, it tastes wonderful in the bottom. Mexico's Tapa Chico. Uh -huh. Yes, or as us Hispanic would say, we love the Topo Chico. <laughs> Hey, just wanted to let you know that I um, got this strip that kind of like came off of my uh, almond croissant and um, instead of just eating it as is, I'm a dunker. <laughs> my grandmother, when I was a little girl, she taught me she'd buy donuts and uh, pan dulce, which is... Um, it's bread, the sweet bread, sweet bread, pan dulce from the panaderia. Uh, like I said, we're I'm from um, San Antonio, and uh, we're 90% um, Hispanic there. And uh, my Hispanic uh, grandparents taught us many, many things about food and uh, Mexican food and dishes. But she also taught taught me to not waste this. That, and she says, just go ahead and dunk it in your nice hot coffee. <laughs> this reminds me of Grandma. Beautiful and fun, wonderful memories. And any of our viewers from America, let me know if Tapa Chico is available in your aisle in your grocery store or is it gone from those areas as well. Just curious if it's just being shipped to America and I'm staying in Mexico or why can't I get Tapa Chico when I go to the grocery store? Right, right. We did notice at one point recently we went to Walmart here and uh, Walmart actually had Topo Chico, not in bottles. They had, well, they had it in plastic bottles, but not the wonderful, you know, 16 ounce glass bottles. But hey, I'll take the Topo Chico however I can get it. And when we don't have it, well, we'll go with Perrier, next best thing. <laughs> See ya. Um, and we'll be bringing you more wonderful videos. Um, like and subscribe. Absolutely. <laughs> See you next time. Thanks for hanging with us.